Hi, and welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to start learning how to create our own custom tooling library. To begin with, we're going to define our own library. A library is a special type of project. You can access all your libraries by going to the Home tab and hitting the little green book icon here. This is for libraries. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my library. I have a folder here called My Library. For example, I could right-click here and say New Folder. I already have one here. And in here, I'm going to right-click and say New Library. And I'm going to call this library MS for Missler Software Tool Library. You can call yours whatever you like. And I'm going to choose Blank Template. Once that's done, I'm going to double click on it so that I can edit that specific library. Now, before I can start building tools, I have to make one quick reference. So I'm going to right click on References and choose Reference Library. And I'm going to go find the library called Top Solid Machining. Right there. And green check. Depending on how you build your tools, you might have to build, reference other libraries. That's up to you. Now I'm going to build a folder, and I'm going to call this folder Imported Data. And I'm going to import all of my files in one shot. So I downloaded a bunch of stuff from the web. I'm going to go ahead, go to Import, and do Import Several Files with Conversion. When I do that, it's going to come to my directory. I've already browsed to the directory where I have my tools. And I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these step files. I shift selected. I'm going to drag and drop them down into here. And I'm going to hit Go. And now what's going to happen is Top Solid is going to translate every single one of those automatically. Because I had started by right-clicking on the imported data folder, the translations are all going to wind up in that folder. So I'm organizing everything as we go as well. Kind of cool. Once it's done translating, we're going to click OK, get out of this dialog. 19 done. And then we can go have a look at all of that data. Perfect. So you can see there's a turning holder. There's a boring bar, another boring bar, another boring bar, and so on and so forth. This is some kind of groove tool. And you can see we have lots of different tools here. So I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom now. I'm going to double click on this one. Just to make my life easy, I'm starting from the bottom. In this tool, you see a solid body tool. Okay. Now here, we're going to want to define this to be a tool inside of our library. And we're going to run a wizard for that, but we're going to do that in the next video.